Interesting facts about Brachiosaurus. The long-necked, long-tailed Brachiosaurus wasn't the biggest sauropod dinosaur ever to walk the earth, but it still ranks among the most popular, alongside Diplodocus and Apatosaurus. This video will discover interesting facts about this gigantic, gentle plant eater of late Jurassic era. An adult Brachiosaurus could live to be 100 years old. As a general rule, the bigger and slower an animal is, the longer is its lifespan. Brachiosaurus' enormous size, combined with this dinosaur's presumed cold-blooded metabolism, meant that healthy adults of this genus may have reached the century mark on a regular basis. Especially since a full-grown Brachiosaurus would have been virtually immune to danger from predators once it aged out of its vulnerable childhood and teenage years. Brachiosaurus had longer front than hind limbs. The late Jurassic Brachiosaurus was named after a less impressive feature. The relatively long length of its front, compared to its hind limbs, which endowed this dinosaur with a giraffe-like posture. This was clearly a dietary adaptation, as its longer front limbs allowed Brachiosaurus to reach the high branches of trees without unduly straining its neck. How did a dinosaur as big as Brachiosaurus regulate its body temperature? Paleontologists speculate that sauropods took a long time to warm up in the sun, and an equally long time to dissipate this built-up heat at night resulting in a steady state of homeothermy, that is, a relatively constant body temperature at any given time of the day. This still unproven theory is consistent with sauropods possessing a cold-blooded metabolism. The skull of Brachiosaurus was easily detached from its neck. One of the odd things about sauropods like Brachiosaurus is that their tiny brain skulls were only loosely attached to the rest of their skeletons, and thus were easily detached after their deaths. In fact, it was only in 1998 that paleontologists conclusively identified a skull discovered by the 19th century paleontologist Othniel C. Marsh as belonging to Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus wasn't the only sauropod of late Jurassic North America. You might think a dinosaur as big and imposing as Brachiosaurus would crowd out its niche on the floodplains of late Jurassic North America. In fact, though, this ecosystem was so lush that it could accommodate numerous other breeds of sauropod, including Apatosaurus and Diplodocus. Most likely, these dinosaurs managed to coexist by evolving different feeding strategies. Perhaps Brachiosaurus concentrated on the high branches of trees, while Apatosaurus and Diplodocus held out their necks like the hoses of giant vacuum cleaners and feasted on low-lying shrubs and bushes.